Could a handful of fundamental particles help us explain the entire nature of the universe? Human knowledge of the universe and the world around us is constantly expanding. Since ancient Greece, where philosophers first hypothesized the existence of atoms, we have made significant progress. After over 1,500 years, we proved the existence of atoms, considering them the smallest building blocks of matter. However, shortly afterward, scientists discovered that atoms are actually composed of even smaller particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. Further research revealed that protons and neutrons are not fundamental particles either. They are made up of even smaller particles called quarks. These discoveries introduced us to a world of subatomic particles with complex structures and many unanswered questions. Today, scientists have developed around 10 fundamental theories about the types of particles and forces in the universe. If these theories, including the graviton, string theory, and membrane theory are proven accurate, they could potentially provide explanations for all physical phenomena, from the smallest particles to the largest structures of the universe. Strangelet, particle of destruction. Let's start with a more familiar concept, quarks. Among the six types of quarks, the most common are up and down quarks, which are the fundamental components of atomic nuclei. There are also less common types, such as strange quarks. When strange quarks combine with up or down quarks, they can form a type of exotic particle called a strangelet, which is a component of strange matter. Strangelets form when a neutron star collapses into its core, creating immense pressure that forces electrons and protons in the star's core to merge, forming strange matter. Strangelets may then disperse throughout the universe, even reaching our solar system. The hypothesis is that if strangelets ever appear in the universe, they could convert any atom's nucleus they contact into a strangelet, setting off a chain reaction where newly formed strangelets continue to convert surrounding atoms. This process would spread like a virus, ultimately converting all matter into strangelets. During the construction of the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, at CERN, some scientists were concerned that the LHC could accidentally create strangelets, posing a risk of global destruction. While this risk has never materialized, it serves as a reminder of the formidable potential of physical phenomena in the subatomic world and the universe. SASTA-2, Sparticle, Supersymmetric Particle. Scientists theorize that particles in the universe exist in pairs, known as sparticles or supersymmetric particles. For every particle, such as a quark, there is a perfectly symmetrical twin particle, a sparticle. With over 60 known fundamental particles, each one is thought to have a corresponding sparticle. However, no sparticles have been discovered so far. To explain this, a theory in particle physics suggests that heavier particles decay faster than lighter ones. If a particle is heavy enough, it almost instantly decays as soon as it forms. There is a hypothesis that sparticles are incredibly heavy and decay instantly, while the symmetrical particles we observe remain. This may also explain why we have not been able to study dark matter, as sparticles could comprise dark matter and exist in a state we cannot observe. And three, antiparticle. You've likely heard of antimatter, and scientists believe that antimatter is composed of antiparticles. Antiparticles have properties exactly opposite to their corresponding particles, similar to mirror images. Essentially, all matter and particles should have corresponding antimatter and antiparticles, or at least they theoretically should. However, thanks to the Large Hadron Collider, we've actually detected antiparticles, so they're no longer merely theoretical. A historically proven hypothesis is that when antiparticles and particles meet, they annihilate each other, releasing energy in the process. An interesting hypothesis related to the Big Bang suggests that the universe initially contained an equal number of particles and antiparticles. If particles and antiparticles were created simultaneously during the Big Bang, their interactions would have led to massive annihilations. Additionally, the concept of an anti-universe has been proposed, a parallel universe made entirely of antimatter. 
This hypothesis suggests that our universe could be just one part of a larger structure, with the universe and anti-universe existing as two parallel entities. Physicists have hypothesized the existence of the graviton based on the successes of quantum field theory, which explains all other fundamental interactions through intermediary particles. Electromagnetic interaction via photons, strong interaction via gluons, and weak interaction via W and Z bosons. According to this logic, gravitational interaction may also be mediated by a fundamental particle, the graviton, though it hasn't been observed yet. This theory would align with Einstein's general relativity and Newton's law of gravitation in weak gravitational fields. The graviton is a hypothetical elementary particle believed to be the carrier for the gravitational force. If it exists, the graviton would be massless, since gravity has an infinite range and possess a spin of two, representing the characteristics of gravity. Discovering the graviton would be groundbreaking, as it could help bridge general relativity and quantum mechanics. At extremely high energy levels, known as the Planck scale, gravitational effects extend beyond the limits of general relativity and begin to follow quantum mechanics. Identifying the graviton could bring us closer to a fully unified theory for all fundamental forces in the universe, a goal that physicists continue to pursue. Gravophoton Another theory of gravity at the atomic level, derived from kaluza klein theory, suggests that gravophotons are created when the gravitational field is excited in the fifth dimension of space-time. This theory proposes that if space-time has more than four dimensions, three spatial and one temporal, then gravity and electromagnetism could unify into a single force. Gravophotons are hypothesized to carry characteristics of both gravitons and photons, implying they could bridge the gap between gravity and electromagnetism. This opens the possibility of a fifth force beyond the four known fundamental forces, gravity, electromagnetism, strong nuclear force, and weak nuclear force. Prion. We know that quarks are considered elementary particles and are components of protons and neutrons. But are they the smallest components in the universe? Some scientists propose that quarks may be made of even more fundamental particles, called prions. For context, a gold atom's nucleus, which has 79 protons, is about 8 femtometers wide, with each proton composed of three quarks. This indicates that quarks are incredibly small, and if prions exist, their size would be so minute that no current measurement unit could quantify it. The concept of prions is significant, as it could pave the way for thousands of new particle theories. Seven, tachyon. Tachyon theory introduces a subatomic particle that moves faster than the speed of light. If it exists, it would violate the light speed limit. To envision this, if we consider the speed of light as a central point, then fundamental particles move well below this limit, while tachyons exceed it greatly. The speed relationship between fundamental particles and tachyons can be thought of as mirror symmetry with the speed of light as the mirror. Fundamental particles need energy to accelerate, and reaching the speed of light would require infinite energy. Conversely, tachyons would need energy to decelerate, and reducing their speed to the speed of light would also require infinite energy. However, as tachyons accelerate, the energy requirement decreases until they no longer need energy to decelerate, at which point their speed theoretically becomes infinite. String theory. Traditionally, particles from elementary to complex are treated as point-like objects in space. But string theory suggests that particles are not points, but instead are tiny, vibrating strings, each with a single spatial dimension. String theory is a quantum gravity theory intended to unify all fundamental particles and forces, including gravity. Strings could potentially replace prions, forming the building blocks of quarks and preserving their properties in higher particle levels. These strings can form various elements based on their structure. An open string could form a photon, while a closed string could form a graviton. Modern theoretical physicists have great hope for this theory, 
because it can address questions about nature's symmetry, quantum effects near black holes and singularities, and the existence and potential breaking of supersymmetry. It also provides new insights into quantum mechanics, space, and time. String theory describes all forces and particles through an elegant geometric framework, fulfilling Einstein's dream of deriving everything from the geometry of space-time. Notably, string theory also supports the existence of extra dimensions. M-theory, or brain theory, extends string theory by suggesting that particles can exist in multiple dimensions. In this theory, an M0 brain represents a point-like object similar to a quark, an M1 brain is a string, an M2 brain is a flat membrane, and so forth, with higher dimensional brains occupying more dimensions. This theory introduces the concept of a multiverse, where our universe exists on a specific brain within a vast multidimensional space. Expanding on this, each brain has its own spatial dimensions, and the greater the number of brains, the more dimensionally complex the space becomes. If there are infinite brains, it could lead to infinite universes and support cyclic theories. According to cyclic theory, the universe undergoes endless cycles. Beginning with the Big Bang, gravity eventually pulls matter back together, leading to a big crunch. The compressed energy and mass then trigger a new Big Bang, starting a fresh cosmic cycle. Higgs boson. The Higgs boson, often called the God particle, is one of modern physics' most pivotal discoveries. In July 2012, researchers at the Large Hadron Collider confirmed the Higgs boson's existence, a landmark achievement that validated the hypothesis of the Higgs field, a theoretical quantum field proposed in the 1960s. The Higgs field interacts with fundamental particles, endowing them with mass. The Higgs boson's confirmation not only proved the Higgs field theory, but also helped explain how fundamental particles acquire mass. Though conclusive evidence for other particle theories remains limited, these theories are being rigorously explored and could revolutionize our understanding of the universe, bringing us closer to understanding the nature of the space we inhabit.